Now for part one, it's very tricky. We're going to be using methyl orange, which is an acid base indicator to study a mixture of acetic acid and sodium acetate. And I usually show this as a demonstration for the class before we get started. So methyl orange is kind of an orange solution. And I've got um, 0.1 molar acetic acid on the left. And I'll place a, a drop of this in here. Maybe I'll add three drops so it's sufficiently concentrated to show up in the video. And we call that red. I know it might be pink or salmon or lavender or whatever for a lot of people, but we call this red, okay? And when I add the uh, same number of drops here to sodium acetate, we call that yellow, all right? So, these are kind of the uh, temperature extremes, red on your left in acid and yellow on your right in basic uh, solution, okay? Or less acidic, let's say. And methyl orange starts out orange. So what you're going to see is an orange mixture and I'm gonna place that into hot water or cold water and you're gonna see it change more yellow or more red. And it's very hard to see so that's why at the end, I'm gonna place two test tubes side by side, one in cold water, one in hot water, and you should be able to see at that point which of those tubes is more yellow and which is more red, the hot one or the cold one, okay? So just bear with me and let's see how that looks. Okay, so in my hand, I have a mixture of the sodium acetate and acetic acid. This is the starting color. One of these tubes is not going to be touched, all right? It's gonna be our control for uh, reference. And so we're gonna heat and cool one of the tubes and then see, does it change more red or does it change more yellow? Okay, by the very end, you should be able to see. I'll make it obvious, okay? So we have our hot water over here, okay? and. I'm gonna leave our reference tube in the rack, okay? And I'm gonna take this one and place it into the hot water. I'm gonna measure the temperature as well, just so I have um, a temperature to play with, okay? All right, so we have the reference tube here in the test tube uh, rack. It's just standing vertically here, and we have this white piece of paper there behind it that you can kind of see what color it is. That's the starting orange color. And you want to try with the best of your ability to decide now, did this hot heated test tube of this mixture change more red or did it change more yellow, okay? All right, here in the lab, I do see a difference. You may not. So that's your observation in hot water. The temperature was 39.0 degrees uh, Celsius. Now we're gonna take this test tube, okay? And we're gonna place it into the ice water bath over here. We'll go ahead and measure that temperature here just to get a reading. Normally it's a good idea to wait about five minutes for things to reach thermal equilibrium. So this, this guy here is the cold. We've got ice cubes in here, so this is the cold temperature. And the idea here is that this should change more yellow or more red, and we should be able to compare, ideally, with our control here in this test tube rack. All 
All right, so I'm reading a temperature of four degrees Celsius. That's nice and cold. So I'm gonna pull uh, my reference and hold it up to the camera here and in the best lighting I can, I can do in the lab. So this is what I call orange. And we wanna see if that chilled test tube has changed more yellow or more red. Okay. So is that test tube more red or more yellow? Okay. Now here, this is where I say I make things very clear, which one's more red, which one's more yellow. So now I'm gonna take my control and I'm gonna place it into the hot water bath here. And I have that other one that's been chilled previously still in the cold water bath. So after uh, a few minutes, we're gonna take both of these out and you're gonna compare on the left, the hot water with the cold water on the right. And then side by side, you should very distinctly see one has a slightly more yellowish hue and one has slightly more red hue. Please don't say orange, 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 orange for all the colors. We want to observe maybe a yellow orange or a red orange. That's the idea. All right, I believe these have been sitting in there for a couple minutes or so. You saw that I put some extra hot water in this beaker here. So again, on your left, okay, is the hot, and on the right is the cold. We're gonna pull both of these out and uh, take a look at them. And you should be able to see now in the video very clearly which one's more yellow and which one's more ye red, okay? So again, the uh, hot water is on the left, the cold water is on the right in all cases for this comparison, okay? I hope you can uh, make your observations and go from there. That's all you need from this uh, part, part one. You don't need to record the temperatures I recorded it.